Breaking news from UNC Chapel Hill, where we have seen a few developments in the last few hours. About an hour ago, a meeting of faculty members ended with a call for answers after police clashed with protesters on campus. The group wants UNC leadership to reassure families about the safety of graduation. That's coming up a week from Sunday. They also want the interim chancellor to explain his decisions. And they want better communication from the school in these kinds of situations. WRS Chelsea Donovan is live tonight on UNC campus trying to find out when law enforcement is allowed to step in during situations like this. Chelsea? Well, we should mention that peaceful protesting here is completely allowed. This is a public university and no permit is needed. But also, that can change in a situation like you saw on Tuesday. It's a fluid situation, and that's when police can step in for the protection of themselves and the campus. Now, you can see quite a different scene here on the quad. They're putting up a 10-foot fence around the flagpole, rather, an additional layer of that security. This afternoon, contractors brought in a half a mile of barricade fencing to add an additional layer of security. We've also seen new cameras watching over the quad and lights for added security. But even with beefed up security and barriers, this area of campus far different than yesterday. Long gone are the protesters replaced by students studying on the lawn. Chaos broke out during the pro-Palestinian protest on Tuesday. Dozens busting through this barricade, at one point replacing the American flag with the Palestinian flag. The broad majority of this campus knows how to express their views without shouting. When they decided it was time to take down that flag, that's not a flag that belonged to any single individual in that crowd. That flag is the property of the state of North Carolina. Retired Raleigh police officer Lee Turner said officers acted well within the law to use pepper spray and force to protect themselves and those on campus. It's on that borderline between free speech and what becomes disorderly conduct. We, will not we also asked a law professor how these protests are allowed and how long they can go on. When you're dealing with a public institution, there are public forum areas where the area is open uh, for uh, protests. Irving Joyner says protesters don't need a permit, but must follow university guidelines. But I think the key concerns here would be that it is peaceful protest. Now, we should mention at last count, the district attorney here in Orange County, Jeff Neiman, he just sent out a note to media and said at last count, 36 individuals have been charged with at least one criminal offense, ranging from second degree trespassing to assault on a government official. Of course, of course all of them are presumed innocent at this time. Chelsea Donovan live in Chapel Hill. Thank you.